Hi, this is Laura Tucker with RealityShack.com. You would think it would be an exciting time for me. I've been writing about reality TV since 2003, so one of our own has made it to the White House. But he's not mine. I'm not claiming him. Not that I didn't watch The Liberty Apprentice, as I did, but I never watched it and thought, that Trump, he'd be a great president. Never. And even the thought that he could be president back in 2005, 15, when he announced he was running, seemed absurd to me. I was one of the ones who kept saying, no way, that is not going to happen. I thought people would never be able to actually pull the lever for him in the primary. But here we are. He won the primary and the general election. And by this time, it seems even more absurd than it did in 2015. We found out more about him, and it wasn't great. So, while I was in the shower this morning, I was thinking, if I were going to pick a reality TV host for president, I wouldn't have thought it would be him. It would be, and then, I thought, who would it be? What reality TV host would make a great president as long as we're aiming for people who don't have to have any political experience at all? Ryan Seacrest is just too busy. Chris Harrison would be starting every press conference telling us it's going to be the most dramatic ever. I don't know if I trust Nick Cannon with the nuclear button. He made the decision to marry Mariah Carey. Kat Dealey would be an interesting pick as I'd love hearing her announce her picks for Supreme Court just because I love listening to her say the word judges. Judges. If it were Tom Bergeron, it would, I would be worrying that his prior job of hosting America's Funniest Videos would come into play and he'd be showing blooper videos of Congress. Then I thought about Phil Kogan of The Amazing Race. Okay, so he was born in New Zealand and that could be a problem, but hey, Ted Cruz ran for president. So let's examine Phil. He'd be great at foreign affairs. He probably wouldn't be upsetting other countries with his tweets. He travels all over the world for his job. And there is always someone from each country on that mat with him to welcome the teams to the country. He'd probably have to ditch the travelocity known as that's just a bad sidekick. But is it worse than Eric and Donald Jr.? I don't know. What would be great would be when something upset Phil. He wouldn't run off to tweet about it. No, he'd be raising that one eyebrow. You know, just to let you know, he thinks it's questionable. Come to think of it, where has the Amazing Race been? I missed it last season. Will it be back this March when Survivor comes back? I'm off to go check on that possibility, both whether or not the race is coming back and whether or not we can get Phil to run in 2020.